Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Guess what? I'm going to show you how to install KDE on a GNOME version of either Fedora or Nobora, uh, if you must. You know, it's an all-around thing for Fedora-like distros. Yeah, this also should work on Ultramarine, probably. Ah, this is not well planned so far, but here we go. So there's this command called sudo dnf group list. This is a cool thing. You want to know why? Because it shows you every single available desktop environment. Fedora, custom, custom operating system, minimum install, server, cloud, plasma workspaces, XFCE, FOSH, LXDE, so on and so forth. There is a ton of stuff. This is the current one that's installed. This is GNOME. It's called Fedora Workstation, but you also... Uh, it also installs a bunch of things. So hardware support, container management, desktop accessibility, so on and so forth. So if we want to go and install KDE workspaces, we need to copy this. Okay. So we do sudo dnf group install. Okay. And then we do this. We hit control shift V and we do this. And that will install kde so as you can see it's installing the workspace administrative tools basic graphical core desktop accessibility dial up and all that other cool stuff dial up networking support yeah okay uh, i'm gonna call that one a plasma issue so if we go through you notice hopefully that we're going to be using 6.0.5 and most of these things are coming from well, the KWIN stuff anyway is going to become from Nabora because it's patched and that's what we want. Because um, Plasma at the moment, when you're not using it normally, does not have explicit sync fixes. So NVIDIA has a couple of issues on there with freezing and doing weird stuff. So on Nabora, that stuff is automatically fixed thanks to the amazing developments of Glorious Eggroll and Matt and lion and the other people that are around him that help him out because it's not just one guy it's actually a few people that do pull requests and stuff i've done a pull request i might do a couple more here or there if i can figure out how to update the spec for obs studio i'll be doing that but here you go so far uh, everything's installing and working and this is of course going to take as much time as it needs to because it's got to like do some stuff and this isn't the fastest nvme ever so yeah and that's it so what do you do after this well you log out and in the lower right hand corner you'll see this little uh what do you might call it it's a it's a little cog a little wheel a settings wheel you click it and you switch to plasma but for me i'm gonna do this I'm going to do sudo dnf install ssdm wayland plasma just like that. So that's already installed. Then I'm going to do system ctl. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this. GDM. I don't like GDM. I stopped liking it a long time ago. And I'm going to enable ssdm. So when I reboot ssdm will show up instead of gdm and i'll be able to use that so if you do do this method to change desktop environments it's the well depending on if it uses the breeze theme or not it's either the top left or the bottom left okay anyway i'm gonna head over to um plasma real quick and yeah show you that it works Okay, so after the install, we are here on the desktop, and as you can see, everything's functioning and working, and we have the full Plasma experience here, and this ugly-ass background that no one should ever want or need, and that's it. Another thing to note is if you want to do the reverse, and you're on KDE, and you want to install the GNOME desktop to have a more better, stable experience, all you have to do is this one command right here sudo dnf group install quotation mark fedora workstation quotation mark and you hit enter and it pretty much installs everything that you need for you okay so there's a bunch of stuff that wasn't installed with uh his but this installs the pure fedora experience and i'm just gonna hit yes to get everything in there because i want it all 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this helped you out, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.